People are ignoring really serious health problems because they're worried about going to the hospital and getting COVID-19. If this applies to you, beware, it could lead to serious complications. That's also a trend they're seeing at New Hanover Regional Medical Center's emergency department. Dr. Wes Paul is the chief clinical officer at NHRMC. Dr. Paul, so good to have you with us this morning. Good morning. So according to a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, nine major U.S. hospitals experienced an estimated 38% reduction in emergency room visits. What's the situation like at NHRMC? So we have seen a similar reduction in visits to our emergency department. Specifically, I think it's all comers, but the cardiac is probably most worrisome, putting off any type of symptoms that you have could certainly lead to a, a wor much worse outcome. You know, my mother suffered a stroke a few years ago, received excellent care at NHRMC, but the seconds really matter. And that's the message we want to get out to people. You cannot put off these issues if you've got some medical ailment, right? Oh, absolutely. And I think we, we used to say from a cardiac standpoint, you know, time is myocardium or heart muscle, and from a stroke standpoint, time is brain. So absolutely, we need people in as soon so we can, uh, so we can treat. So if you had a situation weeks ago that you would immediately have picked up the phone and called 911, that's kind of the same mindset you need to be operating on right now, right? Absolutely. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, this week in HRMC phasing back in surgical services and diagnostic testing. What are the metrics the hospital used to determine that it's safe to resume doing this? We've had now the time to prepare, to learn, to learn from the country, to learn from the region about how to take care of these patients, how to take care of any possible surge we have and really what we need in capacity. Um, this time has allowed us to really do deep dives within our organization because no one has really handled anything like this in the past. So we really do uh, hold at a very high value the, the preparedness that we have had time to do coming into this. We do know that delaying, just as you said, delaying care, delaying even surgeries that may have been non-urgent a month ago now with time have become urgent. That's why we are encouraging people, don't neglect your care, come into our emergency department. But some of these procedures who, which we know we could have stopped a month ago, over time they become more and more urgent. So it's time to start. We know that we have not seen a tremendous surge of patients within our area, although we are still looking at models that predict that may occur. So we absolutely have to be ready. So as we gradually phase in uh, this procedural increase that we're going to see. We're doing it very thoughtfully. We're doing it with metrics on hand that we monitor on a daily basis to give us, say, an early warning system. Therefore, we're going to begin to see a surge. And they really are around key elements such as availability of testing in our hospital, uh, the capacity our hospital has to ha handle any particular type of surge. That includes um, as many have heard about PPE, our protective equipment, okay. uh, we have reserved 30 to 45 days uh, to make sure we have that, uh, as well as early warning signals from our community of testing, seeing increases, looking at occurrences in long-term care facilities, so we can be ready uh, to pause whatever plans we have or to reverse. Dr. Paul, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Don't go away. We'll be right back.